Yeah, hey guys, sadly, this isn't the first time this place has been broken into. The owner says back in June, someone smashed through the window. That's why he put up the gate to keep the thieves out. But even still, this happened in broad daylight. He was hit in the back with a sledgehammer. But he says even still, he was ready. Here we go again. Another smash and grab, but this was no clean heist. The suspect runs in, smashing the glass to a jewelry case. And the owner doesn't hold back. He charges at the two wielding sledgehammers, grabs the bags intended for the robbery, and throws the fools out of his store. Uh, grabbed the hammer. The second guy did, slammed him in the back while my uncle pushed both of them out. Sebastian, who does not want to show his face on camera, is usually in the store to help. It could have been awful. Uh, we're lucky and grateful for how it transpired and that he's not dangerously hurt. Bumped and bruised, his uncle is going to be okay, saying it was worth fighting back. For years, thieves have targeted the area and even put one jeweler out of business. And they just had enough of it, and we've heard so many stories of guys just coming in, taking whatever they want, and never getting caught. So he just didn't want to deal with it anymore. And his efforts paid off. Police had the block swarmed within seconds, and all four suspects locked up. They look like a bunch of rookies. They just kind of ran in, weren't thinking about it, head down, not knowing freaking Thor was the store owner. And Proud of his uncle and perhaps superhuman instincts to take matters into his own hands. They're pretty disgusting, pretty awful people. They should get their work somewhere else instead of trying to rob people who work hard for their money. And says, don't be fooled by the sign this time. The joke's on them. There's the irony in the name. Don't heist us, you'll get heisted. And there you have it. Two suspects actually entered the store. Another two were actually in the getaway car. All four are fa facing some serious charges tonight. One was adult, and sadly, three were just kids. Live in Santa Monica, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News.